In this video, we are going to be adding pagination links to our manage posts table. So they are going to appear at the bottom of the table like we see in the finished project. All right, so let us begin. Uh, the first step is to add the HTML for the pagination links. So I have opens index at HTML inside the post folder in the admin section. And this is the table we added and styled in the previous videos. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this table and then just before the closing table tag and just after the closing um, T-body tag, we're going to add a new tag called T-foot, which is going to represent the table footer. So it is inside this footer that we will have the pagination links. We'll have one table, one just one column in this table and that column is going to span uh, the entire six columns, right? And let me just give it a red border so that we see what I mean by spanning the entire uh, on the, on the entire six columns on the table. Okay, so as it is now, if you refresh, you're going to see the red border starting from one end of the table to the other. So the other table data or the TD elements were just uh, appearing uh, in one column. But when we gave a color span of six, we simply said this particular TD should start from, should span one, two, three, four, five, six columns. That is from left to right. Okay, so that's because we are only going to have uh, the pagination links within this uh, TD. All right, so now instead of test, let us add the pagination links themselves. We are going to wrap them around a div with a class of pagination links. And then each link will have a class of link. And then let's just give it a number and then we duplicate a number of times and then we add the numbers on the pagination links. All right. Okay. So um, if there is any active link, that link is going to have a different style from the rest of the links. So we are going to add a class called active on any link that is active, that's currently active. And then we'll define the CSS for this active class to make the button look different from the others. Okay, um, this is all about the HTML for the pagination links. We can go ahead and begin styling. So in order to start, uh, first of all, let me remove this red border. In order to start, we are going to grab the pagination links, uh, the pagination links class uh, for the div that wraps the links themselves. Then inside our admin style, um, I'm going to look for where we have written styles for tables, which is here. I scroll to the bottom and uh, just before the admin layout styles, I'm just going to add another comment called table pagination. And then here I'll grab admin table things this is the class that wraps the entire table. And inside admin table, we have pagination links. Now we'll display this using flex and then we'll say justify content flex end. So justify content flex end simply says all the contents of this parent should be pushed to the end of the components. So if we refresh, Okay, everything has been pushed to the end of the uh, the element. So by default, it is usually flex that. All right, and that's it for the pagination links uh, element that wraps the links. The next thing we are going to pick is the link, uh, each individual link and style it to look like a button. So within pagination links, we have a link then we'll give it a font size of, let's say 0.9 rem, which is like 90% are uh, the default font size. Then background color of transparent.
padding of 0 0.35 rem top and bottom and then 0 0.75 rem left and right and then we'll do a mean width of let's say 35 pixels then we'll give it a border of 1 pixels solid this color all right and that's all for each individual button now the active button is going to have a style that's a bit different from the rest so i'm going to select a link that has an active class assigned to it this link is going to have a different background color of this then it will have a color of white and then yeah i think that's all let's go back to our page and refresh all right and it looks good it looks like the finished our uh, finished the design the finished project so this brings us to the end of the styles for our uh, the manage post our uh, page now the next thing we're going to be working on is the manage post or rather the create post form and i should also mention that um uh, I am aware that the work on this page has been really much, uh, but just bear with me. I think um, for the rest of the pages, we are going to, what we are going to basically be doing is just copy pasting what we have done in the posts, in the posts page. We'll basically just copy paste. So even though this page has taken long, the other pages will be, um, will be mostly, um, will be very fast and very easy to implement. Alright, so see you in the next section.